Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play of Kami HD. I'm just finishing the fight. Not a difficult fight, but just a fight that needed to happen. And until I can find a place to save, I'll just keep on trucking up. Stop giving me those guys. Alright, so you want to play with explosives. Just have one more of those monsters left, so where could he be hiding? Nope. Oh, well, at least it's a different monster. So a chest over here. With some white porcelain pots. I don't think there's anything else hidden here, and I certainly don't have enough money to buy the final technique, so let's go keep on finding more of those scrolls. There must have been at least one I missed somewhere. And it's turned day again. All right. Oh, not the right one.
Those little ones are quite fast. Uh, Taking him out. I love these prayer beads, they are so convenient. Especially with all the power up I've thrown into them. They better be efficient. They do require quite close range here. Oh, darn. Oh well, that's fine. So I don't think it's any of the scrolls I could find out here then. There must be one I've missed on this side. And where could that be? Is the one on the road? One up there. Remember, I don't think there is any one up there. been down there, so that, that can't be it. Perhaps there's another scroll somewhere on this lake. Ooh, I can't see you yet. Ah, there you are. Cold remorse. Hey, no fair bringing friends. Just want to focus on the one that actually has error embedded in it. Okay, that's the only one that needs to die. And that's all the assassin monsters. Yeah, let's give him the good news. And potentially a reward. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Gold dust, yay!
No, that's fine. At least we got our reward. Alright, let's see if we can figure out how to get into your shit. Well, that means there's only one place we can go for that. So let's head back into work here. And pass through the gates that uh, the Elder opened for us. You know, and as long as we're here, we might as well sell. Yeah, shopping has never really made me feel warm, though. And might as well make sure that my feedback stayed topped off. Because we've not quite fed everyone yet. Ooh. We've not seen this one before. Another edge glass. Nice. Right. There's something here. Amongst the cranes. Strabi. Let's, let's get up to the gate. What does this say? Welcome to Snowball Playground. Hmm, quite possibly. We'll check that out later. It's a uh, mini game that is it can be fun. Well, I call it a minigame, it's just sort of working with the game's physics to create a puzzle. But let's just focus on actually getting somewhere else. Like in here. Kamui, Kamui, Eso Fuji. So that's where those volcanoes are. Yeah, they look properly frozen over. Ooh, a safe shrine. Well, keep that in mind. We don't need to save right now. Not expecting a power outage. Another civilization. Let's see what this one says. Modern Nippon offers mysteries that cannot be easily explained. Devices that even scholars in the capital are unable to decipher. Stone artifacts that endow the wearer with special abilities. They are thought to be evidence of a civilization beyond our own. My great-grandfather spoke often of such matters. He had traveled to the windy plains of Taka Pass for brush training. While there, he noticed a strange light tracing an arc in the sky. The light eventually settled in the area of Sasa Sanctuary. Great grandfather traveled there the following day. With the light had landed, he saw a mysterious symbol floating in midair. It is not uncommon to hear such tales repeated here in Nippon. Whether one believes in this otherworldly civilization or not, it would certainly seem that many among us certainly want to believe. I am not ashamed to say I count myself among their ranks. Hmm. Well. Considering there was actually something, uh, a rocket was buried in Sasa Sanctuary. We have the Umbrella Namage, Namahage. Legend tells of the flying Namahage, often shown with their umbrellas. 
One tale concerns a man who was attacked during a snowstorm. He said it's too windy for the Namahage to be out flying. To be out flying. Hearing this, Nama, na, the Namahage left the scene in an embarrassment. We can assume that they won't show themselves when it's windy. Well, that's bullshit because it did. He didn't go down. Or perhaps the wind was not strong enough. That's also possible. Not much of a shrine then, isn't it? Yeah, okay, I can I guess it's a nice view. Hmm. The Ark of Yamato. I guess that's that metal thing in the middle of the lake there. Yes, indeed. Well, in. It's partially out, actually. I suppose. Yeah, not much of a shrine, I think, if it's all this, oh, all this is exposed to the elements like this. I mean, granted, it shouldn't be snowing, but still. Uh, we can explore the rest of uh, the lake later. I don't want to dance on the ice too much. Let's focus on getting upstairs, or up the path. Right. Uh, these are... I'm not entirely sure what these are. Raccoons? There's a chest down there, but or rather, there's something on one of these uh, the hilltops, I think. But there's a, there's a much easier way to get up there. Just for the life of me, can't figure out uh, remember how though. Really. And right now, all of this is just walls. Oop, bears. That's a very securely locked door. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a good idea. And another safe shrine. Well, that's convenient. And here we have another interesting character who we'll be talking to next time.